Next is the um, competitive side of the classroom. So when they're in the classroom, students are learning the fundamentals of robotics, how robots work, what gear ratio is, how to program, and they take all of that knowledge and information and then apply it to here in competition. Uh, so my title is STEAM teacher, um, and so I teach through a curriculum called Project Lead the Way, um, and I teach automation and robotics and then design and modeling, which is an engineering course. Each season, the students have a certain challenge that they have to meet. So this year's challenge is called Slapshot. Um, and what they're doing, basically, in this season is taking these discs out of these dispensers, going around and getting these discs, loading them up in the robot and playing shuffleboard with it. And so they build the robot, they come up with the design, the students create the design, engineer the design, and then actually build it. And then after they've built it, they then take what we've learned in class about coding and programming and then program the robot to be functional. So they've started out at a regional championships. Uh, they've done, this is the first year Bixby's had a program and the kids have just absolutely blown it out of the water. Uh, right now they currently are the first in Oklahoma for their performance on skills um, and they've taken home 16 awards this year. Uh, so just really done outstanding. Uh, and so at those regional competitions, based on their performance there, they've now leveled up to the state championship, which is where we're at today. If they qualify for the state championship, uh, then they'll go to the world championship. So it's really neat because at the middle school level, what they're doing is they're working together in an alliance with another team. Uh, and so they'll go through about eight different rounds and the two teams work together to earn a certain amount of points. And then it goes towards their average. And then at the end of the competition, ultimately, whichever team has the highest average is the team that is the winner. So there is high school competitions and uh, at Bigsby, you know, that's something that they're exploring, looking into establishing a high school program. But VEX is built on a continuum where they can start as early as grade school, like elementary age, and build all the way up to high school. Well, one, they learn stress management. <laughs> that's, main, that's number one. Uh, because competitions are highly stressful uh, because they've been working and building and culminating. Uh, so just taking that stress and managing it. Uh, project management, time management, how to collaborate with each other and express differences. Um, you know, those are really big skills to have. In addition to the classroom skills that I would say, like engineering, programming, building, these 21st century skills that are going to enable them to have a career in about anything they want to. Well, definitely, uh, you know, we've, we've had all this success and my kids have done outstanding, but in order for us to be able to attend the World Championship, we really need financial support. Uh, it's a huge burden and I like to try to keep it where there's not a burden on the families, the cost on the families. Uh, and so that's something we've been working really hard to fundraise, but if we had community support and involvement, that would be outstanding to help us get these kids to where they're able to, you know, all the success they've had, they're able to show fruition for it and compete at an international level. So I've got three different Native American students uh, from uh, two different tribes, and then uh, myself being the Choctaw. We got Riley Nichols, uh, we got Caden Newkirk, and White Freeman. It, it's really changed me. I, I this is probably my favorite, um, like my best year I've ever had. This is my first time doing robotics, and we're doing pretty decent. Well, I think I've been, been gotten better at my social skills with them, and also it it really helps with communication and stuff around other people for future jobs and everything. So I want to be a programmer or an engineer, um, and I want to be a software d developer, and I want to, my main goal is to build a robotic dinosaur <laughs> life-size. Um, I was, am the desig designated uh, builder, and I was the main builder, but everyone contributed in building the robot. I come up with a lot of the ideas for concepts and stuff for the robot, and then other people improve them and other people contribute ideas and stuff. I'm feeling really confident. We've had struggles in the past uh, with team building and stuff, but I'm feeling really good about this competition. I've been leaning more towards structural engineering and architecture, but this is also very fun and could be a fun job. I don't know, my dad has really helped me uh, guide my team. He's taught me a lot about leadership and stuff. So if you want to help support, you know, our program and getting our students to the World Championship, uh, we have a link that's in the uh, bio. Um, but we also, if you want to reach out to me, my email is tdansby at bigsbps.org, and I'd love to connect with you.